Hey y'all, Megan here. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I know it's been a minute since I've been on here, but I am back with another video. So about a month or two ago, I posted a video on my YouTube channel about how to make a calendar, undated calendar from scratch on Canva. And you guys really seem to like that. So today's video is going to follow um, in that one's footsteps. So I'm going to show you guys how to make another version of the undated calendar, but instead of being um, vertical, this one is going to be a horizontal layout and it's actually way easier to make and it's just as cute. So if you guys like seeing these tutorials and you like learning about Canva, um, then definitely like today's video. Make sure to hit subscribe and also leave any comments you have in the comment section below. Um, I will do my best to answer any questions that you may have um, and receive feedback, that kind of thing. So make sure you do those things, but we'll go ahead and get started again with today's video. So I will go ahead and post the other um, calendar video that I made a few months ago somewhere in this screen, and I'll also link it in the description box if you haven't seen that one. So um, for those of y'all who haven't seen that one, I'll kind of go into that. So in the last video, I made this monthly calendar right here. Um, I didn't make this mock-up, but um, yeah, I made this monthly calendar. So in today's video, like I said, I'm going to be making another monthly calendar. So let me close this out and we will go up to here. So once you open up Canva, you will just need to go to create a design. And if you're wanting to do like an eight and a half by 11, but the horizontal layout instead of the vertical one like this one, then you will just go to custom size, change pixels to inches, and we will go with 11 in width by eight and a half in height. Once you type that information in, you can go ahead and create the new design. So once the new design is created, it is, um, it will open up with this blank screen right here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do first, I'm going to go to this elements tab right here. And I don't know if it, if your screen will look like this, but just find the shapes. If you can't find the shapes, then you can always go to the search bar up here and type in square because we're going to start with a square. Um, you can use any of these designs. I like to keep it a little simple, especially if you aren't super familiar with Canva or creating digital designs with Canva. I like to keep it simple, like I said. So um, if you type in square up here at the search bar, click this first box up here and you want to make this smaller because each of these boxes right here is going to be kind of like a day of the month and I'm going to make seven of these boxes across and then five of these boxes below. I know that equals to 35 days, but you know, some months might start on like a Friday or Saturday, something weird like that. So I always like to make it like that. So what I'm going to do is just make it this size. I think this size is good for right now. If I want to go back later and rechange the size once I get my sheet laid out, then I will show you guys how to do that. But for now, we're just going to stick with this size. I think it's one and a half, not one and a half, 1.1 by 1.1 inches. If you drag it out or, or if you just click this little thing in the corner right here and drag it, it'll show you um, the width and the height of each box. So we're going to stick with 1.1 by 1.1 for now. Like I said, I'm probably going to have to change it, but it's a good starting point. So... I'm going to make seven of these boxes across and five um, boxes down. So to duplicate it, you don't have to just keep pressing box after box. You can just highlight this box. And if you're on a Mac, you can hit Command D and it will duplicate it. Or you can just highlight the box and go up to this duplicate button and duplicate it. That works too. Um, it's up to you. So I've made three boxes, I need seven. So instead of just duplicating each box, I'm going to left click outside of these pink boxes in this white area and just drag this blue box across all three of these 
and then I'm going to hit command D there's six I'm sorry that makes a total of six and then I'm going to click this last one and then hit command D to make a seventh one and I'm going to space this out so that it is within the big pink rectangle that comes up right here you don't have to put these boxes within the pink rectangle um, I know sometimes calendars look better when they're kind of spread out closer to the edges but I'm pretty particular about this kind of stuff, so I'm going to um, make sure that these boxes are spaced out within the big pink rectangle that comes up. So if you're following along, you can do this, but you don't have to. So now that I've got seven of these boxes, they're obviously not spaced out evenly between each other, so I'm going to left click in this white area drag this blue box that pops up across all seven of the squares and then I'm going to hit position and tidy up and when that happens when you press the tidy up button then all seven of these boxes will space out evenly so now that that's spaced out evenly I'm going to highlight all of these boxes again and I'm going to group them. You can either hit this group button up here, or if you're on a Mac, you can hit Command G. And once they've been grouped together, then I'm just going to duplicate it five times. So, well, I'm gonna duplicate it so that there's five of these groups. So let's see, that's two, three, four, five. Okay, so like I said, I'm a little picky about how these things are spaced out so I'm going to grab these now something really good to note that I don't know if I've noted in my previous videos is um this when you hit the tidy up button I know that just sounded really weird um when you hit this tidy up button like if you um grab these four right here and you hit tidy up it's going to tidy them up so that they are aligned where this top one and the bottom one are. But I want them to be aligned so that the top one stays right here and the bottom one stays right here and they are all aligned um, within the top and bottom one. So I'm going to highlight all of these and then hit position and tidy up. And now they are all aligned. So I don't think they are aligned within the big pink rectangle that pops up that tells you um, where everything is aligned at. So I'm going to select all of these, this group of pink boxes, and I'm just going to make sure that it fits within the pink rectangle that has now popped up. So once you do that, then you can click outside of it. And that's that. So all of these pink boxes, they represent different um, days of the week and then weeks. So depending on how you want your calendar to look, um, you can add like the days of the week up here. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Um, but this is all you'll do. So if you want to add like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then go to this text over here and hit add heading. Well, you can really add any of these, but I just like to do add heading because that's the easiest. So highlight whatever is in the text box and let's do Monday. So let's do M for Monday and yeah, let's do it like that because um, we can center well, we can tidy up the letters once we get all the letters put up here. So I'm going to duplicate, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, so let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So while I'm working on this, if you're still watching to this point and you are not using Canva Pro, um, 
Make sure to check out Canva Pro. I usually say something about that at the beginning of my videos, but I completely forgot just now um, because honestly, I've had like a really rough day at work and I'm just getting home and starting on this. So anyways, the whole point is if you like to use Canva a lot or you're looking to make designs like this, um, you don't need Canva Pro specifically for this design, but for a lot of things, Canva Pro does come in handy. Um, so if you would like to try Canva Pro out for free um, for 30 days, then check out the link in the description box. Um, it, like I said, it really comes in handy if you use it a lot like me. So um, make sure to take a look at that if you haven't yet. But now that we've got all of the days of the week put up here, then we can highlight these and... I don't know how tidy up is going to look. Now, if you group something together and you don't see the position button like it was when we created these date boxes, then you can always hit this little three dots that says more and the position thing will come right up. So let's hit tidy up. Okay. And that actually looks pretty good. I like the way that looks. So um, you can leave this like this I think the I think this font is a little too big so I'm going to change the font size to like 24 and then move it down a little bit you can always move whatever's highlighted by using the up and down arrows on your keyboard you don't have to drag and click with this little function thing so I'm going to move those down and yeah, that looks pretty good. I like the way that looks. Um, actually, I'm going to make them a little slightly smaller. Let's make them a little smaller. Okay, so I like the way this looks. And I'm actually going to go ahead and change the color of these pink boxes. So you don't have to click on each individual one and change it. Um, there are two ways to do it. You can either click on one of these boxes and change the color to, let's pick, let's pick this color. So you can pick a color and under here, it'll give you the option to change all of the boxes from this pink color to this weird green color. So you can change it like that or you can highlight all of the boxes and click whatever color you want to click and it'll change it like that too. So two options. Um, I actually don't like this brown color, so I'm going to change it. Um, I'm going to change it to white and then I'm going to click in this white area and I'm going to change this white area once it's highlighted to Let's see, I will do this green color. I think this looks really pretty. So now the last thing we need to do is just put monthly calendar, just like the last video. I'm gonna put monthly calendar up here um, and I'm gonna change the font. So I'm gonna highlight this and then change the font to something cute. Um, let's look up calligraphy and yeah, I actually like the way that looks. Um, so I'm going to make some changes here. I'm just going to drag this down a little bit so I can fit more up here. Okay. So monthly calendar and then... I will duplicate this and do let's see I'll zoom in a little bit and I will type in month and then duplicate oops nope I will duplicate where it says month and type in year and I will line it up with this edge of month. You can do that by looking at the little pink lines. I'm going to drag this up slightly. And then let's add some lines. So go back to elements and type in 
line and choose this line right here because this one up here is a little funky. And let's do, let's change it to black and make it really skinny. And then do months. And duplicate this line again and do year. But let's make it a little wider because if we go like this, then it's going to make the line thicker. So we'll drag it out this way. And then we'll drag the year one out this way. Well, let's delete it and then just duplicate this one. Okay, so now that that is completed, let's scoot this around a little bit. And that's that. So here we go. Um, Let's make it a little bigger so you can see it. Okay, so of course, if you don't like these colors, you don't have to do these exact colors, but um, we can do this white and then change these to orange or pink or even this blue color. But yeah, that's basically how you make a horizontal version of the monthly calendar. I actually like the way this one looks a lot better than the way um, that the first calendar I created used. So um, hopefully you guys learned how to actually make this calendar. And um, these are definitely items that you can sell on Etsy. Um, if you've got questions about anything I did in this video, then please let me know in the comments below. Um, I am definitely going to be made definitely going to be making some more tutorials in the future. So make sure you subscribe and check out the rest of my content. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see y'all again very soon.